Hey Night Nation, I want to walk you through how to order your yearbook online. Um, first of all, you need to go to bit.ly slash East Noble HS Y-R-B-K-I-N and it's going to open up this page that comes up. When you get here, you click 2020 yearbook and it takes you here. On December 21st, this is going to say $70. It will stay $70 until the end of the year. But for now, you just click on the $65 and order now. It's going to come up with an order screen where you're going to put in your student's first name. I'm going to use my name because I am actually in the computer system. And just press next. If your student is in the system, it will pop up their name and you can just choose them. It gives you personalization options. You do not have to personalize your book. You can just click no thanks. I just want a yearbook without personalization. Press next. No thanks again. And you can unclick all of these things unless you want to order some of those items. Press next again. Press the payment plan or the protection plan or not the protection plan. And press next. And then it comes up with the information and you add it to your cart. What's exciting about using this online is when you view your cart, you can actually pay in multiple different ways. First of all, when you click checkout, it's going to come up and you can continue as a guest and you're going to put in your billing information. Um, 901 South Garden Street. It's going to pop up your information. Continue and don't forget your email. After you put that information in, it's going to come up with um, options to pay. You can pay by credit card. You can pay Justin's in three monthly installments. You can use your PayPal account or PayPal credit. If you use the Justin's three installment plan, what it's going to do is it will charge one third of the amount today and it will charge the other third one month from today and another third two months from today. So if today is December 10th, for example, it'll charge on December 10th, January 10th, and February 10th, and it will take it off of the card that you use. After you decide your method of payment, you just go ahead and put your credit card information. You come down here, it tells you what you're being charged today, and then just click email subscriptions, yes or no, and you can create an account if you want to for the future, and you press submit order, and you're done.